and CEO of Sony Mobile Communications, Mr. Bert Nordberg. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Barcelona. I'm uh, glad to see so many people here. Uh, as usual, we are hosting our press conference on a Sunday night, and have done so for many years. But tonight is different. Tonight, for the first time, we're hosting the press conference of Sony Mobile Communication. The acquisition of Sony Ericsson was completed just 10 days ago, and here we are on stage, 100% Sony. This year's Mobile World Congress may be the first one for Sony Mobile Communication, but Sony Ericsson joint venture in that Sony innovation has been, and the technology has been in the Congress for more than 10 years. And now tonight, we are kicking off a new, exciting chapter for our company that will inspire you, consumers, and the customers around the world. And I think who's better to here to talk about enhancing collaboration within the Sony Group than, uh, and I'm very delighted to have him here, the Executive Deputy President and the newly appointed President and CEO of Sony Ericsson. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Cass Hirai. Thanks, Bert, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure and a privilege to be here at the Mobile World Congress and to have the opportunity to talk to every one of you today. This is actually my second time to have the opportunity to be in front of you, but the key difference from last year is, and as Bert mentioned, that as of February 15th, Sony Mobile Communications has become a 100% subsidiary, and I want to welcome them as an integral player of the one Sony team. It's extremely exciting to be able to share this pivotal moment at one of the most important gatherings of mobile players from around the world. Now, before proceeding any further, I'd like to explain the significance of Sony Mo Mobile Communications in the context of the key initiative towards rebuilding Sony's electronics business. These initiatives are, first, to strengthen our core businesses. Second, to turn around the TV business. Third, to transform our business portfolio. And fourth, to accelerate innovation to drive future core businesses. Now, particularly concerning the strengthening of our core businesses, our digital imaging and game businesses are two market-leading businesses in which we will continue to aggressively pursue both growth and market leadership through aggressive product development and, of course, through aggressive marketing. Uh, simultaneously, we will also incorporate our digital imaging and game assets into our mobile products, which have tremendous potential for growth. Now, we've already demonstrated a taste of what can be accomplished when we leverage our game resources with our line of PlayStation-certified Xperia smartphones. And later on, we will show you just how we can raise the bar by combining our digital assets with our smartphones. Now, it goes without saying that smartphones, tablets, and other connected mobile devices are increasingly transforming consumers' digital lives, and Sony Mobile Communications is a critical focus to aggressively execute our mobile strategy to bring compelling mobile products and services to our customers and strengthening this core business. And as I've said all along, Sony is continuing to work tirelessly to deliver a unique user experience brought by marrying our hardware, content, and services. And this theme is also prevalent throughout our mobile strategy as well. Our customers today want their movies, music, and games at home, on their TVs, and PCs on, on the go at any time on mobile devices which meld attractive design with strong performance. And Sony Mobile Communications will help accelerate our efforts to bring this to fruition by bringing their wealth of smartphone knowledge and know-how of the mobile industry. 
And Sony's cutting edge technologies and expertise, as I mentioned earlier, particularly in the digital imaging and games, as well as service offerings from Sony Entertainment Network, such as Music Unlimited and Video Unlimited, in combination with Sony Mobile Communications smartphones, will further enhance our mobile offerings to deliver a user experience that's only possible from Sony. And we will show you how this is already happening in the new, exciting Xperia smartphones, smartphones we are launching this year, which we will unveil later in this show. Now, throughout our 10-year joint venture with Ericsson, we have accumulated a plethora of know-how and technologies, particularly those to meet the standards of network operators and the operational capabilities to maintain the rapid pace of the mobile industry. And this kind of cross-pollination of know-how and technology assets presents opportunities across both smartphones and consumer electronics to create products that are truly unique to Sony. And in doing so, we will revitalize our product portfolio and grow our market share by continuing to regain our presence right here in Europe and also cultivating our business in North America. Here we are in Barcelona next to the 1992 Olympic Stadium. It takes commitment and belief to reach those peaks. That's what we're aiming for here today. And we will do this under the Sony brand by leveraging the unique user experience which we aim to offer. And I will spare no effort to ensure the success of this endeavor. So thank you. And with that, I'd like to pass things back over to Bert. Bert? You have heard the Xperia smartphone is a fundamental part of the Sony strategy to deliver a connected entertainment experience, and we're going to talk about that. In the opening video, you saw how consumers can play, watch, listen, and create within the world of Sony. Your Xperia smartphone can connect to other devices with a single touch. This means that you can easily share content across multiple screens wherever you are in your home, in the office, and on the move. Take movies, for example. Xperia users have exclusive smartphone access to the video unlimited service from Sony Entertainment Network. You can watch Hollywood blockbusters, classical movies, television series, anytime, anywhere. And with this simple connectivity, you can download a movie to your smartphone, and you can watch it on your TV screen. Sony is a real content powerhouse. And I think it's the first time in my career I can say I work for a company that has won Grammys and Oscars. Tonight, we have the Oscars event in Los Angeles, and Sony Pictures has 21 nominations to that. So I think it's clear that the content will be a differentiator. And now turning to gaming. Last year, we introduced the first PlayStation certified smartphone. And many of you <coughs> of our new 2012 products also PlayStation certified, allowing you to download games from the PlayStation Store. With, with that also comes music. Our service is Music Unlimited. It's our cloud-based music streaming service from a global catalog of more than 15 million songs. It is exclusively preloaded on Sony Xperia smartphones. All of these experiences are underpinned by the Android platform and I don't need to tell you about the Android growth. Its momentum validates our strategy that an open platform has been the right choice. Of course, many of our competitors also have Android products. What makes Sony different in the unique user experience? Uh, and, and we are unique user experience that's come from integrating our smartphone, our tablets with Sony service, and our library of movies, games, and music. As a combined group, Sony has even stronger offer to consumer and operators by bringing the Sony tablet and the Xperia smartphone closer together, enabling a fully integrated mobile experience. It is more obvious than ever that smartphones are no longer a separate story in the world of consumer electronics. And tonight, you can experience that for yourself in the demos after the show. 
So let me recap what we already introduced in 2012. In Japan, we have already launched the Xperia NX with NTT Docomo. And we will soon launch the Xperia Acro HD. At CES, we launched the first Xperia smartphone under the Sony brand. The Xperia Ion is the name, and it's Sony's first LTE smartphone. This is the phone that we launched the Sony brand into the U.S. smartphone market, and AT&T is our exclusive partner to bring this phone to the U.S. customers. And as you know, in the U.S., it's go big or go home, so the smartphone has a 4.6-inch screen, which makes HD viewing even better. And tonight, we are happy to announce that that LTE-enabled Xperia Ion will also launch in market outside the U.S. starting in the summer of 2012. At CES, we introduced the Xperia Next series, the next generation smartphone for Sony, the global uh, flagship in the series Xperia S. And uh, I'm delighted to announce that we now started shipping Xperia S around Europe and around the world for a full-scale launch. The first units are here in Barcelona, so consumers can buy them exclusively in the Sony store this week. After only eight weeks of 2012, it's already been an exciting year. And it only gets better. And now I'm pleased to present two new additions to the Xperia Next series, the Xperia P and the Xperia U. I need some light on the screen. Sorry about that. <laughs> And we are going to go through the details of these phones and uh, to be really, really detailed and uh, give a, a sort of glance what those two products are doing for you and for the market. I'm happy to invite on stage our Chief Marketing Officer, Mr. Steve Walker. And good evening, everybody. As you've heard, uh, the Xperia Next series delivers premium entertainment experiences by incorporating the very best of Sony technology and easy connectivity with other devices. Now, whilst they share many of the same characteristics, each of the three models within the series has a very distinct personality. And this ensures that the range will appeal to a variety of consumer needs and, importantly, that a Sony smartphone is available at each key operator tariff point in markets around the world. But what makes a next-generation smartphone from Sony? Well, the first thing you'll notice is the standout design. We're very proud to have been recognized for design over the number of years. And just two weeks ago, uh, again, Xperia was awarded yet another prestigious IF Design Award. Our commitment to outstanding design continues with a new evolution of our human-centric philosophy. This is a minimalist approach in both hardware and software, and it's been developed as a collaboration between our design studios in Japan, the US, Sweden, and China, all working together. Perhaps the most intriguing design feature is the transparent element. With illumination effects, it emphasizes the display, and it even magically integrates invisible antenna components. Our next generation Sony user interface follows the same design principles, offering rich applications and content experiences with a simple and clean look. As well as Sony's unique technology to capture 2D and 3D panoramic images, you'll find improved entertainment experiences through a new album, video player, and music player, and smart features like application access direct from the lock screen. These UI capabilities have been designed to enhance the native Android experience and take us on the first steps towards a truly unified Sony user experience, at the same time maintaining superior graphics and applications performance. To support this further, all Xperia Next Series smartphones that we'll show you today feature powerful dual-core processors. 
With an Xperia Next Series smartphone, you can now enjoy an experience that extends far beyond the smartphone itself. Kaz and Bert talked about the Sony Entertainment Network. Users can access all types of premium content, music, movies, with a single ID and a single digital wallet. Service is available in a growing number of countries and across a wide range of Sony devices, whether it's PlayStation, Vio, Bravia TVs, Sony tablets, and, of course, Xperia smartphones. So that's just a short introduction to the things that are common to the Xperia Next series. Now, let's take a look at some of the individual products within the range. Now, since we announced it at CES, anticipation for the Xperia S has built up strongly amongst consumers and operators. We now have incredibly good ranging in all major markets. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the smartphone that lets you experience everything in HD. It features a stunning 4.3-inch HD reality display, which, of course, is powered by Sony's mobile Bravia engine. And it's razor sharp with 342 pixels per inch. You can capture full HD video and with the front-facing camera, enjoy video chat in HD quality as well. There's a 12-megapixel camera sensor with the Sony Exmor R sensor capability, uh, which uh, provides excellent low-light imaging performance. And what's more, this Xperia will take you from sleep to snap in just one second with a single press of the camera key, so you'll never miss another moment. And of course, as was mentioned earlier, you can enjoy on this Xperia S legendary PlayStation games and content which has been newly created for the PlayStation Suite and the PlayStation Store. You can even connect the phone to your TV and play games directly on the big screen. Sony Computer Entertainment has a vision for PlayStation Suite and they will be leveraging their powerful developer relationships to bring original content through the PlayStation Suite initiative. More to come on that. As Bert mentioned, Xperia S goes on sale here in Barcelona this week. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's turn to the next product, Xperia P. The distinctive and iconic design of the Xperia Next series is signified in this product by a precision-crafted aluminium unibody, giving it a very contemporary, but at the same time classic look. As well as featuring a 4-inch reality display, Xperia P is the first smartphone to feature Sony's new white magic display technology. This delivers excellent viewing, even in the bright sunlight of a place like Barcelona, twice the level of a typical smartphone. At the same time, smart power management ensures that the brightness is automatically adjusted to conserve battery life. This really is the smartest and brightest smartphone display on the market today. In fact, don't just take our word for it. In recent consumer testing, we asked uh, many, many consumers to judge the screen of the Xperia P against other devices, and in fact, nine out of 10 consumers rated Xperia P's display superior to any of our major competitors. In common with the Xperia S, Xperia P features our fast capture technology within its 8 megapixel camera and again video recording in full HD. But place your Xperia P into the smart dock and you not only charge it, but now you can turn it into a media center or even your mobile office. With HDMI connectivity, you can easily hook it up to your TV, and then with the TV remote control, easily navigate through your smartphone uh, menus, watch HD videos, the latest movies, or even browse the internet from your mobile device directly onto the TV screen. In fact, if you connect a wireless keyboard and mouse to the smart dock, you've then got a full PC capability. You can write your emails, post on Facebook, whatever you would like to do. Xperia P also features an innovative application of NFC technology in combination with our new Xperia Smart Tags. A single touch of your smartphone against these small NFC-enabled tokens launches pre-configured applications or other defined uh, applications of your choice. Imagine, 
You leave the house for a morning run, and of course you want to activate the GPS in the device. You want to uh, turn on your Bluetooth headset, start the music player, and of course you need to launch your uh, downloaded running application. You simply make one touch of the Xperia smartphone against the smart tag, and all of these actions are initiated in one go. Extremely simple. Now both Xperia P and Xperia S are, are NFC enabled. They can both support the capability I've just described. So Xperia P really is everything you would expect and more from a powerful Sony smartphone. It will be available in three brushed aluminum finishes and it will start rolling out into stores in the middle of Q2 of this year, 2012. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the third smartphone in the uh, Xperia Next series, the exciting new Xperia U. This is Sony Entertainment in a compact design, and in this case can be tailor-made to fit your lifestyle. It has a 1 gigahertz dual-core processor, 3.5 inch reality display, and 5 megapixel HD camera, which will deliver a stunning performance against rivals in the price segment where this product is aimed. But like its sister products, of course, its real value is not just in a great specification, but in providing true Sony entertainment experiences. With XLoud and Sony 3D surround sound capabilities, the Xperia U lets you enjoy your music with crisp and loud sound, stream music from Music Unlimited on the Sony Entertainment Network, and easily connect with just one touch to wireless speakers. The Xperia U includes the series trademark design uh, element, the transparent element, which in this case can actually be personalized to suit your taste. Simply select your theme and the transparent element will illuminate to match the color whenever you receive an incoming call or text, as you can see here. But more than that, magically, the illumination will adapt to match the color of photos you're viewing in the gallery or music tracks that you're listening to. And I'm going to try to demonstrate this here live on the screen. You can see as I change the photo, the color of the illumination changes to match the photo. This really is a magical smartphone. Now, if you want to make a bolder and brighter statement, you can swap the exchangeable cap at the bottom here to one of a different color. And in fact, the Xperia U will be available in two different base colors and one additional colored cap in the box of each device. It will come to the market globally, and that is also going to start shipping like Xperia P in the middle of Q2 of 2012. So with the launch of Xperia S and the announcement today of Xperia P and Xperia U, we have introduced you to the first Sony smartphones. The Xperia Next series combines standout design and superior entertainment technology with the powerful performance you'd expect if you're buying a smartphone from Sony. Simple connectivity allows you to share your entertainment anytime on any screen. But Sony Xperia smartphones are made of more than just the microprocessors and memory chips that I've mentioned. We think they're actually made a little bit of imagination, of curiosity, and actually of the belief that dreams really can become reality. We've made them so that they can unlock people's imagination, so that they may ignite people's passions and hopefully inspire them to inspire others. In short, we have put the best of Sony into these devices in the hope that they will bring out the best in the people who use them. To introduce Sony Xperia smartphones to consumers, we will very soon launch by far the largest brand advertising campaign that we have run for many years. We will be significantly increasing our marketing investment in 2012, and we're going to be engaging consumers in new and very creative ways that will truly live up to the Sony brand. We're going to be telling a story about a more connected and more entertaining mobile experience, a story that goes beyond smartphone. Now, we truly believe that consumers will be inspired by Xperia, the Sony smartphone, but we don't just want you to take our word for it. Please join us now to play, to watch, 
to listen and to create for yourselves. Thank you very much.